I have an important message later in the video revealing how to save 10% on this racket. It's quite a lot when rackets are this expensive, it's like $25 off. But not only this racket, also the Speed Pro, the new blades, etc. I'll tell you more about how to save 10% somewhere later in the video. But thank you for watching. And now let's go back in time to when I recorded the Pure Strike review in my car at night. All right, see you there. What's up guys, welcome to the car. Just parked here, visor lighting up my face. Let's talk about that Pure Strike 1620 100. And you know what? I'll throw in that 1619 too because I did try both. Let's get the 16 by 19 out of the way real quick because I have almost nothing to say about it. I can't tell a single difference from the last generation. Just can't. I'm sure there is some difference, but if you tried one and then you gave it a little time and then you tried the other, I think it's a very subtle change if anything. I think people are gonna need to buy one anyway because the inventory is so old. You might just need to replace your rackets or you like the new paint job or the subtle differences might be more meaningful than they felt to me. Looks like the Pure Strikes across the line have gotten a little bit softer, which makes sense because the Pure Arrow lineup has also gotten a little bit softer. So obviously the Pure Strike kind of has to be relatively softer and more flexy than the Pure Arrows. So there it is, 16 by 19, no significant changes detected. Now that 16, 20, 100, that's a whole new racket. And we're excited about that, right? I was. Me in particular excited about it because it's a 1620. My reference racket is the Pure Arrow 98, also a 1620. I love the balance of spin and power and control I have with that pattern in that racket, the Pure Arrow 98 specifically. Other 1620s, I don't always love it as much, but maybe I have a soft spot for that pattern. Anyway, if you know me, you know I'm crazy enough to care about parallel drilling and small grommets. Not gonna explain too much about that here since I trust some of you guys know, but the Pure Strike 1620 indeed does have clean grommets all the way around. I don't think every Pure Strike has that. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, obviously, well, most rackets don't have that. I have a video on what that is. If you guys wanna know more, maybe I'll leave a link or something. But it's really rare that a racket ticks that many boxes. So when it does, I have to try it. I was looking forward to a racket that offered maybe a little bit more control, but was hopefully not too much of a sacrifice on things like spin. I could deal with a small dip in power, but I really don't want to sacrifice spin. The Pure Arrow generates a lot, and I like that. Any less would feel like an unfortunate trade-off just with how I like to hit a ball. Guess I'm a spin addict. I always feel like more spin is better. I like my spin. Don't take it away from me, okay? So I'm gonna get into right now what the Pure Strike 100 is. It's actually a relatively soft racket. I'd put it in the category with Percepts from Yonex. Honestly, like the softer end of the Percepts. Some of the balls that I struck with this 1620-100 from Babolat at least, gave me vibes of the last generation V-Core Pro, which I have been critical of. My main criticism with the V-Core Pros just before they became the Percepts was that they felt too soft. And this Pure Strike felt almost that soft, but it doesn't flex in quite the same way. There's almost like a springy, bendy sensation. I felt like with the V-Core Pros, it would just bend more the harder you hit. The Pure Strike would eventually start to resist its own flex after a certain point. So it's a super comfortable racket, but I think mm, it's not so much the power, but that does cause a big difference in how much spin I'm able to get. It feels like I'm about able to get half as much as I can on my Pure Arrow 98. That's kind of a lot. And the flex is enough that I actually have to calibrate for it. Like I I have to catch the ball earlier in my contact or basically kind of compensate for the flex for whatever angle I'm trying to hit. If I'm trying to hit like a really deep, heavy, but sharp angle, I feel like I have to overcorrect for the flex. But again, I'm not actually overcorrecting. I'm just adapting to that being a difference in how the racket plays and flexes when it hits the ball. So is that something that you can adjust to? Absolutely. Is that an adjustment I'm okay making? Yes, actually but that adjustment is combined with a lot of trade-offs, namely power, which I'm actually okay with there, but also the spin. When the racket bends back to that force, you just can't shape the ball the same way. You just can't. It just doesn't work. There's a reason that the spin feels like it's about half as much as I get on my Pure Arrow 98. Now, it's obviously not literally half, but it's very significant. The trajectory is completely different. The ball bounce is completely different. Everything's kind of flattened out, and that's fine. If that's the type of tennis you want to play, that's great. That's what you're trying to do. Not quite what I'm trying to do. So my hopes, I would say, didn't quite line up with the reality of this racket. I was hoping it would be closer to the Pure Arrow 98 than it was. I thought since it's a 100 as opposed to a 98 1620, I thought maybe it'd be a little stiffer, actually, than a typical Pure strike might be but it's on the softer end of the pier strikes again not a knock on the racket it's just not quite my style but it feels really good it's one of those rackets where you get what you give and it has that modernized but old school feel you know what i mean so if you like the pier strikes i think this racket is very true to what the expectations of a pier strike probably are but this being a totally new mold 
from the Pure Strike lineup, it's obviously gonna be pretty different. So it's on the softer side, it kind of feels like the 18 by 20, but with a slightly bigger head and a slightly more open string pattern. The flex feels similar. So if you want a super comfortable racket that's kind of all around, maybe you like that V Core 95, you like the Percepts, maybe you like the Prestige, maybe you even like a racket from an older generation, but you want something new. Sometimes you get those head liquid metal guys and they come into the party and they're like, I just can't find anything quite like it. So I don't know, maybe this would be similar enough. I really wanna stress the comfort of the racket. It could potentially be a really arm comfortable racket. Sometimes a racket feels comfortable, but for some reason it's not as arm friendly. Look, I'm not gonna try to get into recommending a certain racket to help your wrist injury or your arm injury, elbow injury, shoulder injury, etc. because there's too many variables. There's so many reasons that a racket could be causing you pain. Sometimes it's the balance. Sometimes the racket is too heavy. Sometimes it's too light and there's no weight to plow through the impact of you hitting so hard and that shock just goes down to your wrist. Maybe you're stringing too high. Maybe your strings are really dead and you've left them in your racket too long. Like, there's literally so many variables and obviously like something mechanical that you might be doing that's slowly injuring you over time that could be fixed if you just changed how you hit a forehand or a serve or something. So, I mean, I don't know. But if you're talking about sheer sensation of comfort when you're hitting a ball, I'd say this racket is objectively more comfortable. I was recently hitting with this racket in Vegas, so that's where the playtest footage was. Unfortunately, I forgot my tripod, but footage is all right. And I had it strung up with Restring Zero in the mains and Toroline Wasabi in the crosses. I think I strung it at like 48 pounds? I think I did 46 mains, 48 pounds Wasabi X, pretty sure. And actually, in hindsight, I might go a little bit higher next time. But I didn't actually string the racket then. I had a shop string it, because I was out of town. But they offered to string the demo for free if I brought in my own string. So I was like, all right, all right. I had my, I had my strings on me, I just didn't have my string on me. So <laughs> that worked out. And if you want to get a discount on Restring or Toroline, you can use my code TIME for TENNIS. It works for both. By the way, quick update about Toroline coupon codes. I think Toroline switched from an old system to a new system or something like that. And there were some differences in some coupon codes from some influencers to other influencers. That's supposed to all be leveled out by now. There was like a holiday promotional thing and so on. So the discount for Toroline is either 20% or 25%, depending on when you use this code. And that is one of my favorite hybrids to use of all time. Restring Zero Mains, Toroline Wasabi X in the cross. But I think Ether in the mains from Toroline is also great. Wasabi, obviously. But I'll make some content soon kind of talking about their strings a little more because they've had several more come out and I know more of them better in different contexts. And I will speak on that. So stay tuned for that. Be sure to subscribe. And I got to thank my boy Kurt for the coffee. Appreciate your generous donation of four coffees. And I have a bit of a new coffee ritual I will show you now. Let me mix this up. This is pretty cool. Watch how foamy this gets. Yeah, that's good. And I pretty much take this, put it in here with ice, and then I'll take it to get coffee to go. 10 calories per tablespoon. My last thing real quick, do you guys drink electrolytes when you play? I do sometimes, I don't all the time, but if I'm trying to play my best, I do feel like I want that. And other times it just feels like it makes all the difference. Anyway, a lot of electrolytes out there honestly kind of suck. I'll just say Gatorade kind of sucks. It's basically water, sugar, and then salt, and they kind of claim like there's actual electrolytes in there. Sometimes there are depending on the type of Gatorade that you get, but they're not good kinds of electrolytes and they really skimp on the quantity. It's mostly just sugar and salt. I don't want to get into it too much here. I'll make another video about this, but Voli Wellness, my newest partner, their electrolyte supplement is actually very, very good. It is priced competitively among the other high tier electrolytes out there. You want to think about brand names like Element or Liquid IV. Those are pretty popular and pretty well respected. Voli is better. And I think priced a little better. And if you want to use my code, again, it's time for tennis. They are right now shipping for free. I hope that's still true by the time you're watching this, but you also get 15% off. And if you're already buying Element or Liquid IV, I highly recommend Voli because it's better. The ingredients are more bioavailable. In fact, all the ingredients are just healthier. The sodium is coming from Himalayan pink salt. Google, why is Himalayan pink salt healthier? Their potassium comes from coconut, a natural source, obviously bioavailable. And the list goes on. There's no sugar and there's no sketchy sweetener alternatives. It's delicious. And the nutrients in there are in some of the best forms possible. So check out Voli Wellness. Use my code. I appreciate you listening to that. And if you want to get a hefty discount on this racket and you have iOS, use Time for Tennis on Direct Tennis. Find their app in the App Store 
currently only available for Apple, but more availability coming very soon. Shipping for rackets only costs $5, but I promise my coupon code will offset that shipping cost. And if you buy multiple rackets from the same seller on Direct Tennis, you still only pay that $5 shipping fee. It's actually per order. It's not per racket, but it is per order per dealer. So if you want to get like the new blades or the new pier strikes or the new Speed Pro, get the app, put them in your cart and enjoy a hefty discount. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to put this visor away and call it a night. And we are in for some mediocre weather, so I'll be taking some rest. I need it from tennis. I play every day, sometimes twice. Such an addict. All right, catch you in the next one. Check out the links below for all the discounts and more discounts. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.